The St. Paul Fire Department made headlines last year as the first in the state to buy an electric powered fire engine. It is a step in the city's climate action plan to cut emissions that cause climate change. That fire truck will be delivered this year by a company out of Wyoming, Minnesota. WCCO's Aaron Hassan said I went there to see how this cutting edge rig will make a big impact. This sprawling Rosenbauer campus nestled in Wyoming, Minnesota, is filled with hundreds of employees customizing massive rigs like this one. This is an airport rescue firefighting truck. Or traditional fire trucks like these that will be sent around the country, even around the world. But you'll also find something a little more subtle. This is the RTX. In all of her glory. Uh, when we were coming up with our uh, idea of what we wanted to look, have the future look like, this is kind of what we came up with. This electric powered fire truck is already on the roads in Los Angeles and Vancouver. California and Canada will each get one more, and then it's Minnesota's turn. St. Paul hopefully will be the fifth. It doesn't have the rumble of a traditional red rig. It's parked and running as we speak. We get a lot of grief sometimes that this does not no look like a normal fire truck. It's new, it's different. As soon as they get their hands on this thing, they completely change their mind. Traditional fire trucks cost anywhere from 900 to 1.3 million dollars. The RTX is nearly double at 1.85 million, but it opens up funding options from cities and governments pushing to cut emissions. And the sticker price comes with safety upgrades like this lower profile height option. And volunteer firefighter Zach Paul says is a game changer. It helps firefighters with uh, reduce their injuries, helps them with knee problems, back problems. Digital mirrors are an important second set of eyes, and powerful hose pressure options can help conserve water. But we wanted to try it. My turn to drive for ourselves. A smooth ride with a quick pickup you'd expect from an EV. The RTX can go about 100 to 150 miles, give or take, on a single charge. But you're wondering, what about those busy days where this rig's going from call to call? Well, there's a backup energy system that's diesel powered that can refuel this car so that firefighters can keep going. Paul says the Los Angeles Fire Department can go weeks without refilling their backup diesel supply that recharges the battery on the go. A huge improvement from current standards. We get about 1.5 to maybe, if we're lucky, 3 miles per gallon uh, on a normal fire truck. Right now, workers in the U.S. put the final finishes on the EV shell that's made in Europe. But if demand picks up, that could change. The, the long-term goal is to have an EV fire truck production facility in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this very building here, hopefully. Paving a path for more green jobs and a made in Minnesota product that can help serve communities and save our warming planet. In Wyoming, Aaron Hassan at WCCO News. Paul says their goal this year is to sell 15 RTX trucks. He estimates there are a dozen on the roads in Europe right now.